this video, I'm going to show you how to teach a dog to load up into the car when they're really hesitant about getting in the vehicle. Uh, this is Otto here, and you can see he already knows what I am getting ready to try to do with him. He doesn't want to go into the car. If I pull him on the leash, you see a lot of resistance. Even if I toss um, some cheese in the car, which is something that he likes, he won't follow it in. So usually if I have a dog that's hesitant to go into the vehicle, that's the first thing I do is to see if I can find something that the dog really likes, like cheese or hot dogs or deli meat, and I'll toss it up into the car in hopes that the dog will jump up, get the food, and then I'll let them come back out of the car. And I'll do a lot of repetitions. There are, however, some dogs that the food isn't enough. So with those dogs, you have to try a different approach. So what I'm gonna do with Otto is, I'm gonna use leash pressure to show him that it, once he starts moving toward the car, I'm going to release that leash pressure. And what I mean by that is a lot of times what people do is they pull on the leash to try to get the dog to go somewhere that they want them to go, and then they release pressure. So the dog learns to resist that pressure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some pressure on the leash Hey buddy, I know. Um, and I'm going to show Otto once you jump in the vehicle, all that pressure gets released, and then hopefully I'm going to feed him on top of that. So watch how this works. I'm going to say load up, pressure on the leash. There's the resistance. I'm going to apply a little bit more. And now I'm just going to kind of hang out with him for a second. Now this is a little bit uncomfortable for him right now. So I want to show him once you start to move toward that vehicle, the pressure is going to be released. I can encourage him, but again, I'm not going to release that pressure. I may move him a little bit, keeping pressure on, keeping pressure on, pressure, good. Pressure goes away, and then I feed. Good boy, what a good dog, good boy. Okay, and then I'll let him come back out of the vehicle. Now he probably is hesitant to get in the car. He, he may get a, anxious about riding in the car. He possibly could get a little bit car sick. I really don't know that much yet about him as far as riding with him in the car. Um, but what I want to do now is to show him that once you get in, you get to come back out. So let's see that again. Load up, pressure, a little bit more pressure, release. Good boy, that was good. What a good dog. Good boy. Okay, let's go. And I'm gonna do one more, and then I'm gonna end. And if your dog is really hesitant, you may end on the very first one. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna have him load up, I'm gonna feed him, let him come back out of the car, and then we're gonna take a walk. Here, bud. Load up. Good, see how much easier that was? Because he knows I'm not going to give up. Good boy. Okay, let's go for a walk. Good boy. Okay, so I just got back from the walk with Otto here. Now let's see how he does with jumping into the car. Load up. Good. No pressure at all that time. What a good boy. That's good. Good job. Okay, let's go.